it's spring here in the northeast and one of the uh, first signs of spring is the sounds of the peepers and the toads as they find these uh, these pools of water in which to congregate and call for mates. It's usually in, in this case this is the American toad. They look for little puddles, ponds, uh, pools where there's vegetation. They congregate there in large numbers. They all call out. Um, the males call out. The males tend to be smaller. They call out for the females. The females will arrive. The males will attach themselves, as you can see here, to the backs of the females. And so the, the females will lay eggs, at which time the males will fertilize the eggs. The eggs are long strings. They're attached to the grass or vegetation. As you can see right here, there's a long string coming out of the, the, uh, the toad. Those uh, strings of eggs will then mature over the next week or so, and large numbers of tadpoles will hatch off. Um, these tadpoles are you know, thousands, and uh, they provide a food source for crayfish, dragonfly larva, fish, uh, birds, muskrats, uh, mink, you name it snakes of various varieties, uh, snappy turtles, painted turtles, and in uh, my favorite situation hey, is I'm trout. I'm Here's a male who's vocalizing. The males are the ones that, that make all the noise, all the racket. Uh, as you can see behind the eyes here are these two large bumps. Um, those bumps, here's a different variety of uh, toad. This is actually an oak toad. This is a coastal toad, sandy pine, piney areas. Uh, however, um, different, smaller, uh, the, the glands, also known as parutoid glands, behind the eyes, are smaller. Mm -hmm. um, it was often thought that holding or, or uh, handling mm -hmm. a toad is going to give you warts. That's urban legend. However, those uh, uh, parutoid glands are toxic, and they're, they're the toad's means of defense. Uh, and keeping them from being eaten by other uh, animals, they secrete a toxic uh, liquid, so that when they're when they're bitten, um, it's not tasty. It can be uh, fatal, depending upon what animal it is that eats them. Um, anyway, it's their line of defense, being that they're slow and on land. They tend to be nocturnal animals. Um, their lifespan. It is a couple of years in the wild, however, they have been found to live up to 30 years in captivity. Their range is east of the Rockies, up to Canada, and down just uh, north of the Gulf states. Um, they're uh, widely distributed, uh, and they can adjust to various different types of habitat, unlike some like the Yosemite toad or the Houston toad. Here you see all the eggs. These all are developing uh, toad eggs and uh, the mating toads. Some like the Yosemite toad and the Houston toad are endangered as a result of habitat loss and uh, differences in climate change actually. Uh, there's a lot of studies going on especially in the areas of Yosemite um, right, to go. figure out what they can do to, to protect the, the species out there. Anyway, um, I I love the sounds of spring. I, I look forward to before even seeing the flowers and the leaves to hearing the peepers. That to me is the peepers and the toads. That to me is the kickoff. Um, this footage here is just uh, footage that I've taken along the way, and uh, I can remember as a kid, um, you know, really really early age, going down into the woods and coming across the migration of the the tiny little toads after they've just left the uh, left the water there was a, a lake that we used to go to where the entire back half of the lake was covered with uh, mating toads almost like lily pads they were so dense here you see the uh, the tadpoles the toad tadpoles uh, numbers are a great way of, of uh, uh, ensuring that there's going to be some that survive most of these tadpoles won't and most of the, uh, the the toads that come out won't survive until uh, adults just like uh, in many cases like sea turtles and things like that the numbers the vast numbers uh, ensure that they're they're going to have some sort of survival rate anyway i hope you enjoy this video i'm 
I'm very, very excited that the uh, the seasons have turned and things like this. Um, here are some of the predators that uh, feed on the tadpoles. You've got the uh, garter snake, you've got um, uh, water snakes, uh, snappy turtles, guy. painted turtles, and my favorite of all, the big trout. The, uh, the footage at the end of this video is of a, a very large trophy-sized trout who just happens to be wandering into the grass picking them off and you know I was just so excited about seeing it that I really didn't even think to cast. I probably in hindsight would have preferred to uh, to see what the trout looked like too. However this is what it is here you see a snappy turtle. This is the typical water that a, uh, a tadpole would be, a toad tadpole would be in. It's still water uh, not moving not likely to get swept that away and here's that trout place. I'm talking about you can see him up there in the top back. of this uh, screen hold, hold back. just working his way in and Showing out of the grass the uh, picking off these tadpoles very big trout like I said had I to do it all over again I probably wouldn't have been casting about it. casting at him but great to see I'm yeah, very excited the about the spring thank you for watching yeah, and all cool the good. best to everybody thank you Right into the right into the weeds and back out.